Hey BC, Mike the R retentive here. Um, I have an opening today. I received a Paul. <laughs> I received a Paul. I received a package of BCLT from Baraka P Dub. So uh, you know, I meet right away. Thank you, uh, Paul. That was uh, not necessary, but I appreciate. It. So we're gonna open it up here. I got this yesterday, but didn't have a chance to get down here. So it's been burning a hole in my table upstairs. Nice note here. So we got some, some nice swag in here. Oh wow, these are cool. So uh, I believe uh, Paul works at NASA. So uh, these are some cool stickers. These are gonna have to go up. That's nice. Oh, and this anniversary coin thing. That's really cool. Well packaged, I might add. Arrived nice and safe. Oh, can you see that? That's really cool. Exploring the moon, discovering the Earth, celebrating celebrate Apollo, Apollo Four. Wow. This medallion contains metal flown to the moon on Apollo missions. That's really cool. Wow. Wow. He's not getting around about packaging. We're gonna save this for hmm. so the first one here is uh gold frap. I, I think I've heard people talk about this. I really have not heard of this before. Tales of Us. Let me check this out. Sixth album. Cool. That was very cool. I'm going to check that out today. I got some uh, work to do upstairs. I'll put it on the record player upstairs. Thank you. What is this? <laughs> wow, it's sealed. Is this still sealed? Seal? Oh, these are like brand new. Oh my gosh. What is this called? Slim Twig. Thank you for sticking with Twig. Huh. Never heard of it, so this is going to be some discovery listening. Uh, this is Slim Twig. Huh. Very cool. Yeah, I didn't, I, you know, when I send stuff out, I'm not looking for stuff, Ooh, stuff back, but I do appreciate it. So, uh, thank you, Paul, Baraka P. Dub. Uh, I really, uh, I'm going to enjoy these this afternoon when I'm, uh, wish I could, wish I had a record player in the garage. I got some garage work to do too, but, but yeah, look at all this, look at this. Patch is going to have to go up in here for somewhere for sure. Yeah. Boom. So, actually, we're going to make this a two-part, a two-parter. 
Uh, this is the opening, and then uh, I'll come back and do a part two and, and let you know uh, what I thought of these. Ah, man, this is really... I think I'm thinking of Santa Gold, the gold part. So maybe I haven't heard of this, but uh, we're going to check these out, and I'll come back and and uh, with another thank you and give you a review. Thank you, Paul. I appreciate it. I'll be back for part two. Hey, I'm back. Uh, so I wanted to review the records that Paul sent. Uh, Gold Frap. Uh, I had not heard of this. I think I was thinking of Santa Gold. But it's funny because uh, her voice reminds me of somebody. And it was driving me crazy. And so I finally, I was like, I think I remember where the song is. I don't know if you guys are familiar with a um, um, singer... Her name, uh, she goes by Plum, P-L-U-M-B. This reminds me a lot of that, um, but with a little more, uh, I don't want to say the music darker, but uh, like the first track, the Joe, here's the tracks. Uh, this first track is just, it was really haunting. Um, this is great. This is good stuff. Um, trying to get the glare off. Um, and it has like a huge poster in here, I mean, like giant size poster. So, yeah, this is very good. Um, yeah, this is something I probably would never have thought to pick up, but uh, it's really good. Uh, I come from a long line of uh, female singer stuff, you know, like Tori Amos, um, Sarah McLaughlin you know, in that ilk, uh, really got into them pretty big time. Um, and this is, this fits right in there. This is really good. I'll have to, I'm going to have to check out some of the other ones off. And by the, um, <laughs> after I read the note that, uh, Paul sent along with the albums that talked about both of these. So I was like, I wonder what this is. And he, he explained it, but, uh, so this is fantastic. Uh, recommend this for for y'all if you see this um and <laughs> the slim twig uh this album thank you for sticking with slim twig uh so this one is uh weird uh good weird though i mean i like weird so uh and i love this on the back it says you know, there's a whole, like, letter written to, you know, prospective buyers of the album. And he says, uh, finally, on to my personal recommendations for maximum enjoyment. I want to make sure you have adequate and ideally no less than loud volume. Uh, in the course of making this record's acquaintance, perhaps occasionally use a set of over-the-ear headphones. Good advice. Uh... Drink, smoke, or meditate. Use whatever suits your mind's capacity and makes it most receptive to new experiences in advance of initial listenings. <laughs> and then he says to, you know, listen to it 13 times before rendering judgment, which, uh, 13 times. Can you imagine if you listen to all your records 13 times? I mean, some of them you've listened to for sure more than that, but 13 times for all of them? Good Lord. Uh, anyway, good weird, right? So the very first track on here, oh, where's the track list? Slipping and slip and sliding was just like kind of mind blowing. Uh, and he n makes mention in here that uh, he's very unique and fuzzed out, which is absolutely true. Uh, there were a couple songs on side one uh, that. Man, it reminded me of like I don't, it's so hard to describe this. Uh, the the fuzzed out guitar part is really cool, and there's a lot of good bass lines, um, a lot of vocals in here. Um, very, this is very different. And side two, uh, I think was probably my favorite side. Um, the last song, "Live In, Live On Your Era." Um, it was just kind of really almost uh, droney in a sense. 
I, li I listened to this three times in a row <laughs> while I was doing my working on my project. Uh, I gotta have to check out more of this guy. Um, this one makes it sound like when you're when you're reading this stuff that they kind of uh, maybe piece it together from other um, recordings that they had done and sort of made something new out of it. So it does have kind of a I don't want to say industrial, but kind of a hmm, not sure what the word is. I mean, um, composite sound. You know, it's like oh man. You know, I thought about what I was going to say about this before I came down here to do this. Uh, I I liked it. I really liked it. I, I was surprised, actually. Just from the, the the look of the cover, I mean, this weird porn star mustache guy, you know. And a, a pet, I don't know, just, you know, the cover is just not doesn't draw you in and be like, oh man, I have to listen to this. But I really, I really like this. So, just wanted to say to Paul, Baraka P. Dub, uh, by the way, one of the very first influences, uh, Baraka P. Dub and, and Derek Higgins were the first two guys I watched on the VC, like, religiously. So, uh, thank you for the VCLT, Paul. I really appreciate it. And uh, for those of you uh, who watch this, may want to check these out. Or really, really good. Like I said, this one's kind of a, I don't want to say soulful, kind of a, you know, kind of a dark Sarah McLaughlin. Is that, would you agree with that, Paul? And this one is just, yeah, you gotta just check it out. Uh, fuzzed out guitar, definitely, uh, some, sounds like sampling and, um, really good. So, Thank you again.